the show with a fresh perspective on classical music. Be surprised, be entertained, spin on classical music. Uh, hi! Hello and welcome to Spin on Classical Music. This is the fourth summer break episode. My name is Nikolai, I'm the producer. And um, today I'm sitting here in a very, very special chair. This one is Karajan's director's chair. So you might probably know Karajan was a multi-talent and directed operas himself. Uh, so he, of course he needed a chair for the rehearsals. And uh, yeah, as you can see in this picture from 1982, uh, Flying Dutchman rehearsal, he also used normal chairs. But it seems that in later years he had a chair this chair specifically constructed for him. I mean, he was, despite being this, this musical giant, he was quite a small person. Uh, Henry, I guess, uh, showed you already this, his passport last week. And uh, here you can see he was 173 centimeters tall or small, you could say. Uh, I'm just two centimeters um, uh, larger. And this uh, chair feels very comfortable um, to me. Now, let me give you one quote uh, by Karian about his work as a director. He once said, I cannot arrive at a truly profound statement of the work if it is directed by someone who does not see with my eyes, hear with my ears, and does not have my heart. I tried for a long time, but it was always pointless. Now, as far as I could research, it seems that uh, especially he used this chair um, during the Easter festival in Salzburg in the 80s. Now look at this picture here, for example, from 1987 during rehearsals at the Easter festival for Don Giovanni together with Giulia Baradi. He is sitting in this very chair. And also this very special picture here together with Luciano Pavarotti. This was at the Easter festival in 1989, just a few months before he passed away. It was his last opera production, it was the Tosca, and uh, sadly there is no recording of it on Spotify. But for this week I thought um, we would like to play a Tosca track. So I chose the Tosca from 1980 together with the Berlin Philharmonics and uh, Jose Carreras. And we will just play the most famous aria out of this opera, which of course is E Lucevan le Stelle when the stars were shining. So now lean back in Karajan's chair, relax and listen. <laughs> 